Force yeah. Motors is the third Indian company which uh, made an impression in uh, at Auto Expo. The Gurkha, I've been after it. I've been nurtured it in every aspect since 1998. 22 years. Really proves better late than never. Mm -hmm. Great body work now. The interior, the steering column, everything has been re-engineered, ergonomics, etc. Finally, that car can be worthy of what you call acceptance by any and everyone who wants to look at it. So I should go into the specifics. This is an all new Gurkha. It looks like the old Gurkha, but that is deliberate because the old Gurkha looked superb Correct. because it was based on the styling of the G-Wagon. The G-Wagon, the original G-Wagon. Yeah, it is the Indian G. It is, uh, no, it relates to the OG. Uh, so it looks cool. It's got now all LED lighting. So the DRLs that you see, the lights are all LED. It is crash compliant. Yes. The main thing on this new Gurkha and this whole platform, it's a modular platform, which is also shared with the tracks commercial vehicle range and that is why uh, force motors had the money to do the gurkha because the commercial vehicle Correct. range sells very well they are very they are very price conscious yes even uh, trying to what you call be very frugal in how they spend a, every naya paisa for development so it should what we call earn at least 10 times whatever they put in mm -hmm. and which is a nice thing and they have done it's that. a good thing for shareholders so uh, you want to buy shares buy share force motors and, and the force motor shares are the Really the most profitable, I think, in the automotive industry today in India. See, more sensible consumer advice. <laughs> so, uh, the new Gurkha, it's got that same, retains the same styling. The engine is the 2.6. The 2.2 is not there anymore. The it's 2. a new 6 engine. It's a new has engine. been upgraded to BS6. And that is the engine that is going to go across the range. Force motors will not have a petrol. They'll continue with diesel. And diesel is what's required in something like True. this, to be True. honest. Modular platform. So, what was shown was a three-door. They will also have a longer wheelbase, five door. This three door, it's had forward facing middle row. Now it might not sound like a big deal, but the Gurkha up until now Correct. had two front seats, which were forward facing and Piche at the back, it had a bench, bench, which was very, very, very uncomfortable. Now this has got a forward facing two captain seats at the rear also. Uh, and then at the back, jump seat. So even though this was a small little thing, it could seat six. Yeah, but I don't think you want to ever carry more than two if you <laughs> want to you got to do that. Uh, maybe you need four, no, if you go off-roading. So yes. one spotter, one this, <laughs> one to get your water, but, one to get your but sandwiches. But if you think about it, look at the ergonomics of the car. They're completely changed. Where earlier you had the steering wheel like a commercial vehicle in this plane, now you have it in the car plane. Yeah. And I think that's a very significant move. They completely changed those uh, geometry there and it is perfect now the new dashboard the yes, new, so new dashboard finish, yes everything so a lot of uh, things they learned from the rainforest challenge gurkhas which they had made and I think competition does improve the breed. Better late than never there as well. So this right now is the only 4x4 in this car category which has a proper hard top. Now, yeah, full hard earlier, top, air conditioning. Yes, so the earlier Gurkha had a lot of wind noise and all that oh. because the panel gap so huge. You could post a book through it. You could post others' book through that. <laughs> now, the panel gaps are tight. The door shut like a proper car Correct. with a thud, not a clang. Uh, so it sounds modern uh, the rear glass house it is flush fitting True. so there won't be any gaps so it is more civilized uh, what uh, more Prasen urbanized Ferodia. as well you know it's yeah. very urbanized and Prasen Ferodia yeah. is a person who has many G's many G's <laughs> and I think he wants to do it what they had really created what his father had created more than 30 years ago yeah, so I said that this is more civilized he corrected me and it uh, and, and he said this has been tamed now they always had the off-roading chops this yes. retains the locking Correct. differentials yeah what he's done is made it more livable so now you can actually buy this you can use it to commute and then you can use it for your weekend uh, mud plugging I love the car and I love the special also which was built on the chassis of the Rainforest Challenge Gurkha, which was along. Do check that car out. It, it is, is something a, which is... It's a monster. monster. And I love it to bits. <laughs> the thing to... Which really shocked me, the axles. These are portal yeah. axles. Now, go Google that. After you uh, listen to this podcast, go Google that. Portal axles. These portal axles are from the Mercedes Unimog. Now, go and watch some Unimog videos also. So, this Gurkha concept at the Expo stand could do stuff that a Unimog can do because it's got the Unimog axles. But you have to That's understand insane. One, yeah, but you have to understand something which they didn't show and why does all these things have happened. The Gurkha is now the basis for the light strike vehicle for the Indian Army. And they've already delivered over three, four hundred vehicles to the Indian Army. And more are on the anvil. 
so if the gurkha after so many years finally they, it was not the army's fault or it was it was basically the reticence of force motors themselves to apply mm -hmm. for the army thing yeah. so when they applied 3 years ago and they got that thing through suddenly the army is now really understanding that they needed this light strike vehicle much earlier so a light strike vehicle is something that can be delivered by choppers yes so a drop chopper takes it drops behind, behind enemy, enemy lines. lines it's a fast quick uh, attack vehicle correct uh, the indian army has got rocket launchers and uh, no high powered guns on it in fact it's being shown right now at the def expo, def expo. Yeah. the defense expo uh, which the prime minister inaugurated yeah, right. that uh, pictures in the times of india with with a yeah. gun so <laughs> so there's another expo going on yeah, i think it's in lucknow right yes yeah so that's going on there so that was at the force motor stand in fact we've done walk around videos of all the vehicles that we're talking about you should check out our but, youtube channel but, but and folks also what we mentioned about the new t1 van which they have got all monocoque which goes beyond the traveler state of the art really top notch vehicle which they have made it for global market applications i think you got to also go and look at that way and ready for electrification yes yes so they will have an electric version on this platform because True. they're uh, importers because they've got distributors all over the world Correct. they've been asking for that and now they've delivered all engineered here in house in, in pune in pune already. yeah so that was force motors like i said uh, you should watch the videos we've done videos on all the important vehicles it's on our youtube channel at evo india check that out